ZipWP's new custom sites, that really neat like sitemap feature, if you've been following it at all, is now available in the alpha phase. So let me preface this by saying anything that I show in this video is in an alpha, but it's pretty cool and I want you to check it out to see if it's something that you might be able to put to use for either your agency business, if you're like me, or it can be pretty helpful if you're trying to put together your own site and you're using something like Astra and Spectra, this might be the tool for you. Now, this is a premium feature inside of ZipWP, so I do want to show you the pricing real quick. There's a founder's offer that I'm going to link down below in the description where you can take advantage of it, but you can get the founder's offer right now for $3.99 per year instead of $79 per month, and you can lock that price in forever. So just real quick here, you can see the free plan does give you access to three AI sites, which I've actually shown in another video that I'll link uh, up in the card to the right. Um, but it doesn't come with permanent sites or blueprint sites or any of these custom sites. So if we come over here on the right, you can see that it does include the AI wireframe builder, which is that custom site tool I'm gonna show you. And it comes with all these other features that admittedly are more helpful if you are either someone who's an agency owner and you're building sites for clients, or if you're somebody that wants to take advantage of the blueprint feature, which I have another video on, on my channel. And the blueprint feature is something really cool that you can use to share content. Uh, but again, another video all about that. For now, you will need the business plan and they do have a founder's offer linked below. Once you're inside of your ZipWP account, we're going to go over to the custom site with AI and open up this new sitemap and wireframing tool. Before we can do anything here though, we do need to enter in some business details. So I'll go ahead and enter in mine. All right, I have my business details in here. Let's go ahead and generate our sitemap. All right, it's working now and it is generating us a homepage. You can see here it has automatically entered in a hero section and about section, services, features, testimonials, call to action, and a footer. Now, if I come down here, you can see it has generated pages for us based on the information that I put into the prompt. So we have an about us page, pretty, pretty generic here. A courses page, that's cool because we did say we offered courses. We have a students and events, a contact us, a lightsaber dueling, a force manipulation and combat training. Okay, so they've kind of taken some of our, our uh, prompt that we put in and created some sub pages. Based on what we entered in on our prompt, we would need to add more pages here, but it's nice that you can see that these three in particular are sub pages of our courses section. So that's kind of cool. We'll go ahead and run with this, but if I were building out a site, I may want to at any time add additional pages, which can be done by clicking these little orange buttons here, entering the page name. So for example, we could put uh, you know Battle Droid Fighting 101, then put a page description, all right, so we've got our little page description there generated. I used the improve AI feature to enhance a little bit of what I wrote. I'll go ahead and click add page. And now you can see I have my four courses instead of just my three underneath the courses section. All right, terrific. So now let's go ahead and flip over to the wireframe section here. And we can take a look at what's been put together for us on the homepage. Let's go ahead and zoom in. I love that this canvas allows us to, to do this so cleanly. And here's a wireframe, something that you could use as you work on your site or send to a client. So they've put together a simple menu. We have our hero section here where they've put in uh, some wording for us. The path begins, unlock your potential with Jedi Academy. That's pretty cool. And then we've got some sections here about discovering the Academy. That's the about section that we saw in our site map. And then here we have, if I pop back over, what was the order? About services, features, testimonials, and call to action. Okay, so here's our services Let's zoom back in cool i think that this was a decent job that they did <laughs> i love the testimonials oh, ai is so fun so that looks pretty good for a home page um, at least for the wireframing side now if we pop back over to our sitemap you can come in here and you can add a section so if i wanted to add a section it would give us a little prompt here on the right hand side to insert something into our site. So maybe maybe we want a gallery. So underneath the features, let's go and add a gallery. There we go. And you saw how fast that was. That was two seconds. It brought in a gallery. And if I pop back over to the wireframe and I come down to my gallery section, <laughs> unforgettable, that's just too good. Uh, so it adds in a little bit of a gallery here. Um, 
to capture those inspiring moments. Love it. Okay, so let's pop back over to our site sitemap. And let's say we were happy with our homepage. And now we wanted to start to generate, let, let's choose our courses page. And we want to generate stuff for this page. So I'm going to click the generate page button. And the AI is going to generate like it did with our homepage, a whole page for the courses based on what it knows or it is generated for our business. So let's pop back over to our wireframe and find our courses page. And you can see here, if I zoom in again, we have our hero with diverse curriculum. Explore the diverse Jedi curriculum. It likes the word diverse. There's our showcase, some testimonials. Let's see what this section will be. FAQs, there it goes. And uh, yeah, that's not bad, but let's say, let's say I wasn't happy with this hero section, L little plain. I can click on it now and on the right hand side, and I can choose not only a layout, but also kind of like a styling. If I wanted it to be a lighter design or a darker design or more of a medium design, that's what I would choose. Let's go with something a little dark side. So we'll choose that. And then let's maybe, instead of like a solid background, hover over, again, this was really well thought out. You can hover over these different sections. I'm not clicking, I'm just hovering and find one that works for you. Let's go with this one and it's gonna automatically make that update. And there we go, I like it. And then let's do the same thing with this section real quick, just to double down on this changing and let's go with this one. And then just for fun, we gotta do the lightsaber dueling. I just gotta know what the AI is gonna come up with. So we'll generate our page there. And all right, so while that is generating, we'll just go ahead and leave over here and we'll come back to our site map section. And I want to show you, I'll zoom out here a little bit. In the upper right hand corner, we have the ability to generate empty pages. I've clicked on that. And now instead of going page by page, it is just straight up building our website for us completely. Awesome. So we're not going to pay too much attention to what it generated. I am intrigued, but let's go ahead and see what this can do for us in actually putting the whole site together and not just like this wireframe, which in and of itself, imagine, I mean, this video, I don't know with editing has been under 12 minutes so far from start to finish, literally. So, and that included me rambling in the beginning about the product. So imagine 10 minutes, maybe you could have an entire, basically like MVP to show a client and say, look what we can build for your Jedi Academy. All right, now let's take this and build the actual website. So in the upper right hand corner, we can click create website. And let's see how long this takes. Let's click start building. All right, and that took about 30 seconds. And here's the site that it came up with. Now, I will say my critique that I gave in the past ZipWP video that I made is still currently the case. The designs are fairly straightforward. Uh, the design itself is absolutely not AI. Uh, it's just blocks that are available within the Spectre Builder uh, being used chosen by perhaps the AI in respect to the prompt that you gave it. However, I have spoken to uh, the ZipWP team and they have said that designs are a focus and we do know that Spectra has new features coming that are going to enhance the usability of the builder. Uh, Adam has posted about in the Facebook groups, both the CSS grid and some positioning like absolute perhaps relative positioning. And there are other things coming to the platform that are going to enhance the visual layout of these pages. But really let's take a quick step back here and say that this is not at this point in time meant to completely build you a totally custom website that you're just done with the minute you push the button. Maybe it'll get there in you know a few years, but for right now, it's a starting point. I just wanna point out that this whole process took 12 minutes or so and the site is ready for us to log in and start to make tweaks. And we can go to any of these pages. Let's go back to our Battle Droid Fighting 101. And we can say, okay, you know, decent looking, but we want to make changes to it. So we can log into the back end and we can go to pages. And we can see everything is built out here. Again, this is mere minutes to have us at this point of a minimum viable work environment for us to edit. So we'll go to a page and go to edit. And this is basically now at the point where I was showing in my previous Zip WP video, where you can come into any page and you can click on a particular section. You can go to template kits and you can go to patterns. And you can see obviously these are the patterns that were used to build these sites. But you can start to customize this by going to the settings section and personalizing the library 
based on the same AI that was used in the prompt generator, it can be used to customize these pages, customize the colors, customize the design, in as much that you can choose some images and, and you can manually then go in and retweak the, the different patterns that are used. But I encourage you to check out my other video because it goes into much more detail on the type of customization you can do on the insight on page level. But as it pertains to being able to very quickly spin up a website and adjust a prompt and go in and add more pages and add more sections and have this be able to basically instantaneously generate us a website is a massive time saver. I've already generated some of these for clients using the wireframing tool just to be able to go to a client and say, oh yeah, remember how we talked about your website yesterday? Look what I've already put together for you. So if you're on the agency side, I think that's the real clincher here is the ability to, to use this for an agency. So some really impressive stuff that ZipWP is starting to put out. I think that as part of an entire ecosystem with ZipWP being so much a part of the Spectra and Astra experience now, I think they're really starting to, to carve out a place for themselves within this ecosystem of block builder uh, type tools for WordPress. And if you're an agency, this is definitely something that you should take a look at. Like I said, I'll include links down below in the description and I have a couple more videos coming out about ZipWP that you should check out. And if you have any additional questions, you can leave a comment down below or check out the Convology All Access community where you can get personalized support from me and access to everything that uh, I have at Convology. But that'll do it for this preview slash tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.